While no provider can be the true best VPN for every single user, can one meet all of your needs? Welcome to our new UK channel. I have recently tested a whole bunch of top VPN providers on the market and I will highlight the five VPNs that are worth investing in and why they are my favorite VPN 2023 options. NordVPN is one of the providers that caught my eye immediately because they go the extra mile in terms of security. With top grade encryption, audited no logs policy, kill switch and real time threat protection. The encryption part is expected of course, but on the privacy side, no other provider has been audited for the no logs policy this many times. Furthermore, considering NordVPN RAM only servers are designed to be wiped on reboot and can't physically retain user data, they're a solid choice for security enthusiasts. I always make sure the kill switch is activated. It's an important feature that prevents IP leaks in case my connection is unstable or it randomly breaks. Finally, threat protection. Once it's enabled, this feature automatically runs in the background and monitors online activity, blocks any ants, trackers or malicious elements, including actual malware. While I can't say it's the best antivirus solution, seeing as there's no custom scans, it is effective and removes malware well. Just a small note, you can get an additional discount via the link in the description if a secure VPN is what you're after. Otherwise, I have more to cover. Now, to test the performance of the best VPN service contender, I've done a thorough speed test with three primary VPN locations, US, UK, and Japan. Keep in mind your proximity to the server and times you connect will be a big factor in what results you get. Speaking of my results, this performance is really impressive. With my baseline of about 300 megabytes per second, my speed never went below the 70% mark, which is more than enough for most daily browsing and even streaming activities. Looking a little deeper, NordVPN has an impressive feature list that amps up the value, starting with MeshNet. I've gotta say, this truly brings me back to the age of LAN parties. MeshNet is designed to connect multiple devices in an encrypted long distance network. Whilst this isn't revolutionary, NordVPN is the first VPN to actually offer this to their users. On the less unique but more useful front comes specialized servers. For security focused users, there's the double VPN or onion over VPN options. Despite being a lot slower than the average ones, these server configurations add extra steps for your connection, so it's much harder to track. You can also use P2P optimized servers, which are genuinely good for torrenting. They boosted my torrenting speed quite a bit. Just know, not all of their servers are actually P2P, so a provider like Surfshark may be more fitting if you torrent on the regular. On the other hand, NordVPN has no restrictions for streaming. This is an activity I do almost daily, and while using NordVPN, I had consistent performance alongside access to popular streaming platforms and even various libraries like Japan, Canada, and the US. I read a few comments on other reviews stating that people couldn't get it to work. This is potentially because of IP bans, so just try switching servers and refreshing. Luckily, Nord has had a really high amount, around 5,550 plus, spanning 60 countries. Now, value-wise, I've got to say NordVPN has been called quite pricey, but looking at the market, it sits comfortably in the midsection. Despite this, I found its value to be well worth the price, especially if you consider that a single VPN subscription can be used on up to six devices at the same time. This includes mobile devices, plus a 30-day money-back guarantee makes it easy to opt out if you have to. That said, if you are looking for optimal value, Surfshark is probably the second best option for me right now. It stands out from other best VPNs due to being able to access an affordable plan and use it on an unlimited amount of devices. Plus, you can get their new Surfshark antivirus bundle at a much lower price than a standalone antivirus. From the get-go, they have the same security backbone as NordVPN, the same encryption protocol, a kill switch, and the no logs policy was finally audited just recently. Lately, I've enjoyed using their Surfshark Nexus feature. Not only does it help me avoid IP leaks by combining all servers into one network, but it also lets me build custom multi-hop connections. In short, it means that my connection goes through two servers, further safeguarding my privacy as I browse. This feature is quite similar to NordVPN's double VPN. One more feature I wanna highlight is Surfshark's clean web. It gets rid of ads, trackers, and malicious links when enabled. However, unlike NordVPN threat protection, 
it can't do anything against malware that's already on your device. Yet, they have their one bundle for such protections. And performance is somewhere where a lot of VPNs fall short, surprisingly. Surfshark isn't really one of them. Probably this is down to their modern protocol, WireGuard. In my testing, Surfshark actually got a slightly faster speed than NordVPN after being tested in the same location. So that is a big feat in this VPN review. Besides, Surfshark has quite a lot of servers in around 100 countries. Why this is important is because it helped me access most foreign libraries while streaming. As I mentioned, for Torrentin, I find Surfshark to be quite good. After all, P2P is available on all servers. Having said that, the speed can sometimes be inconsistent and there aren't any specific features like a SOC S5 proxy or port forwarding. As I said, they're affordable, arguably one of the most affordable on the market right now. This is the best value VPN that you can get, especially if you consider it has a 30 day money back guarantee. After everything we've covered, is there another VPN that can bring anything else to the table? Enter Atlas VPN. What's special is this provider is perfect for mobile use. Where Surfshark and NordVPN have inconsistent features between mobile and PC versions, Atlas VPN was designed to be a mobile VPN. This makes it possibly the best VPN on Android or iOS. Furthermore, if you wanted to use it across your desktop too, there's no device limitations. Despite being a very lightweight app, Atlas hasn't sacrificed anything in terms of security. With the same encryption and efficient kill switch as NordVPN, adding an additional safe swap feature into the mix. So this is where it lets me change IP addresses between online sessions, avoiding leaks. There's also a non-traditional VPN addition, the Safe Browser, which blocks ads and trackers online. That said, it's a simple feature, so it can't compete with NordVPN's threat protection or Surfshark's antivirus. It can't block malware. Looking at privacy, their jurisdiction won't be too assuring for privacy-focused individuals being in the US. Yet, there is a no logs policy which puts my mind at ease. Moving to performance, it's as consistent on PC and mobile devices. I got good speeds between the same three servers I tested with Surfshark and NordVPN. As you see, despite being consistent enough, it isn't really that fast and has fewer servers than competitors. That's the premium version too. If you consider the free one, which I mentioned because it is pretty popular, just know that it only has three locations and a five gigabyte monthly limit. So not really the best free VPN that you'll ever find. A big downside though, the free version can't access any streaming content like at all. But that's common from most free VPNs these days anyway. To summarize, Atlas VPN offers quite a lot, especially for mobile users. That's why I'm pleasantly surprised by this VPN's price, especially their three year plan. Atlas VPN has a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So a nice option to test out all of its offerings without the added pressure. A surprising candidate I'll talk about next is ExpressVPN. Now, some might dispute this being in the best VPN 2023 lineup, but a lot has changed, so let me explain. Firstly, it is super versatile, seeing as it has a lot of compatibilities. In fact, ExpressVPN's router applet and its tutorial remain one of a kind among the top VPN options. I think if you're a beginner, this is an ideal option to easily set up a VPN on your router and avoid any devices missing the added protection benefits. Security-wise, it has industry standard encryption and a kill switch, all the stuff I'd expect. The threat manager feature is quite reliable at clearing out ads, trackers, and malicious links. Yet their new ownership left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Despite this, their court proven no logs policy, newly established bug bounty, and even more audits than NordVPN put my mind at ease. If you're curious about how many servers you can access, ExpressVPN actually removed this from their website. So just testing the app would be the only way to get a real idea. Having said that, this switch hasn't affected this VPN's performance. Switching to 10 gigabytes per second servers helped quite a bit. As you see, they rival NordVPN in the same locations as before. This performance is a great support for streaming. Due to their media streamer feature, I'm able to run a DNS service that helps access some content on non-traditional platforms like gaming consoles or older TVs. I've got to say, I had quite a decent experience watching various content with ExpressVPN. As for torrenting, I will say there's no limitations in terms of what servers I can use, but the speeds really aren't reliably doing such activities with this provider. The takeaway here, despite just the five device limit and a few things they need to iron out, ExpressVPN is a fairly decent value. It is more on the expensive side, but there's a 30 day period if you're having any doubts. But if you have to connect to distant servers quite often, 
IP Vanish might be the VPN 2023 option you're looking for. Yes, I am now thinking of Obi One. Just compare this speed test with NordVPN, Surfshark, or ExpressVPN. IP Vanish is doing better with distant servers, even though on average its speed is less impressive. The varying performance is probably down to the fact they don't have as many servers as the others, or even as many countries for that matter, so overcrowding can happen. But what about security? I gotta say, IP Vanish is as reliable as most top VPN providers. It has the same kind of encryption and the kill switch. Privacy practices seem a bit of a mixed bag with a strict no logs policy, but no RAM only servers like ExpressVPN, NordVPN or Surfshark. The US jurisdiction is also not optimal either. Though there is a unique feature that I highly value, SugarSync. This is encrypted cloud storage that protects all your data from third party influence. Another area where they have a little bit of improving to do is streaming. After using the provider for a few weeks, I noticed the performance here is stellar, even with locations like Japan. Yet it can't access as many streaming platforms as my top two recommendations, so it depends on what you favor. Torrenton, you say? Well, even though it doesn't have optimized P2P servers, a free SOC S5 proxy did boost my speed a lot in comparison to some numbers I was getting with other VPNs earlier. It all comes with quite an affordable pricing as well, considering that IP Vanish has no limits on simultaneous connections, a rarity in the VPN world, I've got to tell you. Just know, only their longer plans come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Right. In this best VPN review, I was gonna answer whether one of these providers could meet all of your needs. And while I'm not a mind reader, I do think my top two recommendations tick a lot of boxes for various use cases. Otherwise, the alternative providers on my lineup have something a little much niche to offer. Atlas is a solid best VPN for Android option, and ExpressVPN is a great option if you need a top VPN for PC. But what do you think? If you'd like to get any of those best VPN providers with a discount, check the description below. I really appreciate your time and your views, and I hope to see you in the next video.